guys? Welcome back to the channel. So Stellantis, man, they have created a situation where a lot of people are threatening to go over to buy Mustangs, buy Camaros, and move to a whole different brand, satisfy their muscle car needs. But are they really going to do it? That's my question. I feel like people that who are loyal, actually Mopar enthusiasts, it's going to take a whole lot for them to transition over to a uh, different brand like Mustang or Camaro. Now, don't get me wrong. The Mustang is a very nice vehicle. I posted a picture of the GTD Mustang that's coming out, right? And I asked, I said, is this car better than the Demon 170? And somebody left a, somebody left a comment that made a lot of sense. A Demon is not even in competition with this car. Yes, overpriced, but the engineering and the tech that's in. The GTD will kill the Demon in performance in every category. This car is meant to compete with the GDRs, Porsche, McLarens of the world not a bullshit. Muscle car. Just FYI the Demon 170 factory top speed is 152 miles per hour. Yeah look it up the GTD top speed is 202 miles per hour. The GTD is a supercar so it should never be compared to anything Dodge makes unless they release the new Viper that's just on some real car shit. No knock on Dodge cause one own both Ford and Dodge platforms. Any real gear head will tell you the same thing. And it's basically saying that the GTD is a whole different breed in a sense whereas the way it's designed, the, um, the whole point of it being built, is just a whole different type of muscle car compared to the Demon 170. And my thing is this, Will that car be enough for people to say, you know what, I'm not gonna buy a used Demon, I'm not gonna buy a used Hellcat Red Eye, I'm not gonna buy any of the older Dodge muscle cars, I'm going for this new Mustang. From what I understand, the new Mustang is gonna cost a whole lot of money. I mean, in a range of around like, what, 200,000? But when you look at the design of that car, I must say, it looks pretty daggone good. Me personally, I wouldn't buy it just because I'm just, I need a big car. Like my 300 that I'm in right now, for those who may be new to my channel, I'm in a 2023 300C with a 640. This car checks all the boxes for me. I'm talking about completely. I got a panoramic sunroof, which I'm gonna let you guys see here in a second. And I usually record with that open. So this car has everything I'm looking for. But I'm gonna close it back because sometimes when I'm recording it uh, messes up the, uh, the screen, you know, they block the sun, messes up the camera. So I'm gonna close it back. But this car checks all the boxes for me. Now this Mustang, I believe it's supposed to have thousand horsepower. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. The Demon 170 is supposed to have 125. The Mustang goes, what, 202 miles per hour. The Demon, 149. So if you're looking at it far as strictly performance, the Mustang probably has that Demon 170 beat by a long shot. And I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't know too much information about the new Mustang. Um, I'm gonna do some more research on it. And I'll probably do another video talking about it. But man, it's, it's a nice looking car, if you ask me. But I don't know, I'm just wondering, you guys gotta leave your comments, man. Is it enough for you to leave Dodge, this new Mustang that's coming out? Now, you got to be honest, a Demon 170 will not take these curves like this Mustang is. I mean, this thing is hugging this road like you wouldn't believe. I must say, I'm impressed with how this car is handling. Leave y'all comments, man, what y'all think.
Oh my God, man, this joint sound amazing. Mustangs always sound good to me. When you go to this full website and you scroll down, it said the max horsepower is 815, 202 miles per hour. This car is definitely made for racing. Now, y'all know I'm a Dodge guy to the end. I respect muscle cars. I respect well-built vehicles. I got to admit, it's Dodge is dead. I, I'm impressed with this car. Now, I know I cannot afford anything like this. American manufacturers done a sub seven lap yet. If we can do this, nobody can take it away from us. But there's no hiding from failure. Our mission with GTD is pretty simple. Go beat the Europeans on their turf. That's the Nova Group. Guys, you know the sad part about it is Dodge is focused on this car right here. This daggone electric EV car by Ford is building this daggone monster, almost supercar style type of vehicle. And this is what they left us with. And they wondering why all the Mopar guys are moving over to Ford. Now me personally, I'm gonna be honest. I'm a Mopar to the end. So there's no way that I'm gonna completely ditch my car like my 300 there's no way i'll ditch it for something like that because like i said i can't even afford a, a, a that gtd so that's just completely out of my price range so in the meantime i guess i just have to sit here and admire this mustang and appreciate this v8 power that this car is pushing out because stellantis dodge however you want to look at it they're not thinking about us, guys. They are completely focused on them stupid EVs. So in the meantime, in between time, this is what we got.